Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea, and I'm so glad you joined me today. I'm gonna do a really quick one today about going over annual passes. I know we're so excited for them to be back. April 20th is the day. So I just wanted to go through the numbers. Is it worth it? So this is a bunch of the numbers that I actually crunched to my husband and tried to prove to him, yeah, actually it is worth it for our family. So we're gonna crunch the numbers and we're going to have that conversation of, is this the right fit for my family? So in one of my past videos on how to save money at Disney, we do talk about the park hopper option versus just one park a day. I'm gonna do both options. Prices are going to be per ticket, not for my entire family just to make it a little bit easier for you because we all have different family sizes. So we typically go as a family in the spring and we also go in the fall. So those are the dates that I'm working on. So for the tickets that are one park per day in the spring dates, which I believe I put in April. So for the tickets that are one park per day, the spring dates, it's going to be about $652 per person for those spring dates. Then for the fall, it's gonna be about $658. So that total is gonna be about $1,311. So the annual pass with tax, it's a 0.65 tax there. With the annual pass, it's gonna be $1,489. So the difference is gonna be $178 if you go twice a year and then five days per trip. So it's about 10-ish tickets um, in an entire year. Now, if you are a park hopper person, if you love park hopper, now those prices are gonna be a little bit more expensive. I did put in the same dates as for the one park per day as I did for the park hopper. So they are gonna be a little bit more expensive. So the spring dates, if you go in the spring, it's gonna be about $683 per ticket. So it's gonna be per person. If you go in the fall, it's going to be about $688 per person for those five days, total of 10 days. The total for two weeks an entire year is gonna be $1,371. Again, the annual pass is gonna be $1,489. If you go the park hopper route, it's gonna give you a total savings of $118. So that's a little bit closer to breaking even, but it just depends on do you consider that breaking even or are you gonna go on more trips? Is this a little bit more of a open door to be, ah, oh, pun, right. <laughs> It's going to be more of an open door to be able to go to Disney World more because it is essentially going to be cheaper if you go for another park day. So just a recap, if you're the family that likes to go to one park per day, you're going to save about $178. Now, if you're the family that likes to do park hopper, you're going to save about $118. Now, you're going to have to decide if this is breaking even to you. But in my perspective, with the perks of being an annual pass member. You do get discounts in dining and then you also do get up to 20% off of Disney merch. So if you're one of those families that like to dine in Disney World and you like all the Disney merch, you really could be saving a lot more money with those additional incentives of being an annual pass holder. Now to talk about the add-ons and it honestly just hit me today about the add-ons such as photo pass and the water parks. We love going to the water parks. So if we are to get the annual pass, how much is that going to cost? And is it also worth it? So if you're to get to the photo pass, add it on to your annual pass, it's going to be an additional $99. And so is the water park. So if you can just pick one, if you just are like, I, I just want the photo pass, it's going to be a total of $1,595. Now, if you pick both, the photo pass and the option to be go, able to go to the water parks, it's going to be a total of $1,700 per person. I hope this video really helped you break down the numbers and see if this is a perfect fit for you and your family. And like I said earlier, this could be just the open door to be able to have more trips to Disney World. I know my family, we have not had the annual pass and we have spent the annual pass a lot of times just in park tickets. Um, so it will be a savings for my family. It does make sense for my family and hopefully for uh, some additional trips in the future. Um, but also another plus is Annie is free. She's two and a half years old. So we can go ahead and get it this April 20th and uh, save us some money until she's three. So 
hopefully the crunching of numbers will help you and um, hopefully you'll get some clarity on if you're going to meet me at 6 a.m. April 20th online and uh, try to get them. So uh, good luck if you're going after them. I hope that we all get our annual pass stickers on our, the back of our vehicles, like goals for me. I don't know. That's one of those weird Disney dreams that I had growing up. Um, so <laughs> if that's what you want to do, I hope you get it. Um, but until next time, we'll see you on the next video and um, bye. Bye.